Oh, buddy, welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. <coughs> so, special thanks to Consonant, as always, for sponsoring this campaign. If you'd like to sponsor a campaign yourself, just email me at thestratchprofessor at gmail.com. Let me know what you have in mind. Just $3 an episode, minimum 10 episodes. If you made it this far, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps out a ton, and we have uh, dozens and dozens of other, might even be over a hundred at this point on the channel, campaigns that we've been doing since the game first released, the OG Warhammer 1 in 2016, so long-time content creator, lots and lots of content, if you enjoy my style of content. Okay. And hopefully nothing is going to mess up in this campaign. I just saw that they updated it to 5.2.3 out of nowhere. I wish they would um, have a more regular schedule or at least announce these things ahead of time so that I don't already get into a campaign if there's going to be bugs. Because it always has this little warning that says, Warning, there may be crashes or bugs. You're playing on an old save file, an old version of the game. It doesn't update it to the newest version or something like that. I don't know. So, hopefully that didn't happen. <laughs> I can't remember that happening too often. There was one instance where I think close to when Warhammer 3 released, I was playing a... Um, oh, I forgot we've got... Oh, it's Bombardment. Is that don't... Do we have Chain Lightning yet? We do not have it yet. Okay. I can't remember. It's been a little bit since I've played an episode on this one. Um, okay. And sorry about that, too. I know that I really like to record episodes, like, five in advance at least, just in case I die. Which doesn't happen a lot, but does happen from time to time. Um, this will go... Well, do I want to play around this? Have them come up this hill at me? That might actually be a good idea. I'm gonna have a harder time busting through and getting their archers though if I do that. Because their archers can just camp out over here. I think they would benefit from that more than me. I'll just do it this way. I think we just beat them straight up. We don't have to be cute. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. I was traveling last weekend. My wife had a, um, if you're watching this as the episode's released, you've been waiting on the next episode. I know it's been a few days. Um, My wife plays clarinet as sort of just a side side job in a band. Uh, primarily a swing band. They do play other kinds of music, but they play a lot of that kind of old-timey, like, 30s, 40s music. Anyways, they had a gig at a dance festival in um, South Carolina, so we had to travel a little bit to get over there last weekend, and then I had a bunch of student conferences, and... It was just a really busy uh, few days there, but I should be back on track here. What are we doing? Can we not see them or something? Because they're up a hill? Is that the... Kind of doing some damage, but... Not really. Just see if we can throw it enough to get them to come down off that hill. But, anyways, I should be back on track, hopefully... And I should be able to release these with more regularity. It is possible that, you know, I could, you know, might fall a day or two behind depending on the situation. But this week should be a relatively chill week. We might be hanging out with some friends and family this weekend. But I should be able to stock up some episodes. Is he on a mount yet? He's not. Okay. I'm just chill. Let's just, let's just get him. Whatever. Spread that fear out. Spread these dudes out. He's a little injured, so we gotta... We don't want him to get too wet up here. Now, these are... Or melee. Oh 
Oh crap. What? Oh, they're like hiding me. Okay. Need to make sure they're not uh, they are kind of free firing in here mostly at our dude let's see if we can tie these up with some of the bigger units here That's uh, these dudes are gonna rally. Bro, let's just give it up. Come on. It ain't happening. I guess they just got terror bombed and they're gonna be able to rally or something. Potentially. Okay, there we go. They're in a town, so they're all gonna die. We'll just go ahead and in that and we're still going red tree I haven't read the patch notes yet so I don't know what it changed I was thinking maybe we could try an ogre campaign or something next I don't know I've heard interest in stuff I've been kind of bouncing around thinking about dark elves the new um, dwarf stuff now, I did try a Thorgrim campaign. That's what I was going to do. I looked at the Slanesh campaign after the changes with the cults, and honestly, I think they might be weaker. The cults certainly appear weaker for a lot of reasons. You don't. The main one is you don't get the extra hero every time you make a cult. So you can't proliferate them. Um, and it's okay. I, I still like Slanesh. We might do it. Um... Let's keep doing Itzel here. And the Dwarf campaign was surprisingly, with Thorgrim, was surprisingly kind of tricky um, in the first few turns, fighting against the revamped, or kind of like buffed, um, Skarsnick Greenskins. So that was interesting. Ooh, what is this? Great Dragon Fleet Dogs. Okay, well we don't really, we can't trade anything. I mean, we can't even own it, <laughs> right? What, what am I thinking? Like, oh, cool, landmark buildings. I mean, that is one thing with hordes is there aren't really landmark buildings. It'd be nice if it was like... You could get some some kind of interaction with some kind of landmarks. Like, if you win so many battles in a specific area as a horde, then you get a little buff or... I don't know. Something like that. But there are so few, like, true horde factions left. They literally don't own any property, or you're very dissuaded from owning properties. Is this the only guy who literally can't own a property, though? Like, you personally have control of it? It might be. Because beastmen can still get their little beast towns when you have some limited buildings. Okay. Go with that. 
Uh, horde growth is really good, and replenishment is very good. That's probably it right there. Now, 10 melee attack and 10% damage is obviously massive, and speed is very good, too. Discourage is really good with terror for breaking people. But... I don't know how we are on money, but we'll go ahead and get this. Replenishment is really good. Now, the question is, do we want Comet first? That's controllable, and you can do that in traffic. We have a lot of Saurus right now. We like Chain Lightning is very good if you get the beast and get a bunch of infantry to pile around the beast, but it can tear up your Saurus. It is a little bit cheaper. I think we'll get Comet first. And we'll go from there. Okay. But I was also... So, Dark Elves, Lanesh, um, Dwarves. But I was also thinking, maybe Ogres, if we do that early. Because they're getting reworked and re-released in, like... They said November, December, so it'll probably be early next year. But sometime, I think, in the next six months... Same thing with Lizardmen. So if we want to play them, we might as well try to play them early. Okay, we're getting pretty good on the money now. Okay, nice. And now we can upgrade some stuff. We have enough Saurus. The shielded versions are better. That's just a straight income increase. Although we don't need it right now. 5% on... I don't... I wish it would tell you the base amount because that percentage is based on the base right and I'm already getting quite a bit so I think it's like probably 4,000 or so I mean I could just look them all up but it'd be nice if they made that information a bit easier maybe they've got it somewhere and I just don't know um, do I have any other items not really Okay. So if it's 4,000, 5% would be 200 a turn. And we're not filled out yet. It's obviously going to be more than that in a minute. And we would get 2% more replenishment. Our replenishment's okay. Really? We just got 5% more off of this dude. And it's still only that? And we've got some off of our text, don't we? So that's like 2%. Okay, which text? Okay, we're working sequence of skirmishes. Okay, so it's probably 200 gold, 2% replenishment would be good right now. But it is kind of expensive. Okay, I need more growth. We don't need another Skink Priest right now. It would be cool. This guy's good, but we don't need that until a later tier. Uh, I would like some of these. These are very nice. That dealing with, especially like spears, halberds, um, which the Dark Elves are going to have a lot of spears. Now, they're not as good against like missile infantry. We'll slaughter them. Well, I definitely want this. That's 5,000 plus 3,800. We have to get this anyways before we can get to this, which I, that's what the real prize are these things are crazy good. They are expensive, but free uh, two Thunderbolts and a Chain Lightning on a monster that's already like pretty good anyways. We do have to get this. We need another growth for it. Oh, you get feral cold ones. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. That does make that a little bit better, because then you get fr three of these things you can summon, which is pretty handy for taking out, you know, artillery pieces or archers or whatever, which can sometimes be a problem to get to those. So these are probably going to be expensive to hire. These are probably going to be like 2000 or so each to hire.
That's upkeep and horde grows. I think I'd probably rather have the replenishment. So it'll pay for itself in like a lot of turns. Twenty now if it's five thousand each then five percent which is it, it's gonna be at least a five thousand gold army, it'd be two fifty, then it would pay for itself in like twenty turns. I think we just get this one. Just to make sure we have enough money first. Okay, let's just do that. Where do we go next? Oh, crap. Did I... I don't have any missions. Okay, Balthasar's coming in over there. This dude's coming in over there. We're supposed to kill these guys. This dude's probably going to kill him. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, he's coming in. Let me see. So he's already got... That's his capital. or That's one of the capitals, right? And then it goes down to this. I can't remember the geography of all this. How many of those vampires... Okay, they've got four properties. They're okay. These guys are like... Kind of okay with us, kind of not. Why? Dreadfleet. Okay, I guess we just head north and try to get the Dark Elves. What is your demand? How do I even get over? Oh, there's a little passage. Okay. So we need to be going this way. I'm trying to remember. It doesn't cost anything to build, right? No. Okay. Alright. So start off with that. Well, we're going to get 2,000 next turn, so it'll give us 4,000, but that'll only let us hire, like, two of those Bastilladons. I want... one solar... one solar, at least two vivification crystals... This would let me hire like one or two of these. This is a lot cheaper than this. So we'll still have 6,000 because we're getting like 2,000 next turn. I think we can go ahead and do that. We'll see. We're probably going to have to wait the Bastilladons. I can't remember. They might be two turns, the special ones. Okay. How many of these little... Okay, we've only got 81 of those. I think we're good. Well, there's Loki here. guys are done. <clears throat> this one is, I think, pretty hard. They're both kind of challenging. I, I don't, only 3% replenish. Oh, that's permanent. Okay. I was like, I thought that was the reward. I was like, it's usually 10%. That's a pretty weak uh, item too. What the hell? 3% replenishment? That's it? I mean, the corruption, who cares? That doesn't matter. It's not my property. Pretty horrible. Oh, yeah, we also get these bonuses. So we, if we wait to do some of these quest battles... 
Um, and we can wait until we get a couple more bonuses, like the five melee, Beast of Itzel, and the 10% weapon strength. <clears throat> Where are we? Here we go. By the cruel seas. Level 13. I think they get bonus XP or something. Man. I don't know how they're so far ahead there. Okay, what is 14? It's when I get a mount. Ugh. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab Chain Lightning, too, so we can drop a lot of magic right at the start of a fight. And then, yeah, that's what I suspected, these things. Oh, yeah, we can get Crocs, too. Now, what are some of his bonuses? He gets... So they get Frenzy. Basically. I could give him six six eventually, but the two extra melee attack and ten or the ten extra melee attack and ten damage. It's pretty nice. Could also get more Saurus. I think that's probably fine. And then like Oh, these are way cheaper than I thought. I thought they'd be two thousand each. So, we get some chevrons. That's nice. Is one of these okay, or do I want... They are kind of short range, but they have a lot of ammo. Oh, and they've got the uh, vigor. So, having kind of one on each side, and they can sit there and blast... Um, enemy archers. I like shoot huge globs of enemies from behind. What's their fire rate? Really slow. So if I do two of those, two revivification crystals, these also fire a little bit, but they've got that healing power, quite a lot of healing power. Maybe go three revivification crystals. Because those things were like pretty OP, from what I remember from before. It's 10% max health, and you can do it seven times in a fight every minute. So you can heal up to, you know, 70% of somebody's max health. With no magic cost. Emily Rogers. What the heck kind of vampire name is that? <laughs> that sounds like a student from my class or something. Um, Isabel, like, Posner or something, I think, is someone from the vampire accounts. It's pretty common. Of course, I guess Bella Isabel is becoming a popular name again, too. Okay, let's go over here. This might be too close. I could get attacked, but they're not technically at war with me yet. I am trespassing. Do I care about a Stegadon? They have a big charge bonus. Holy cow, I didn't notice that before. But they just don't have any utility. Like, they hit hard, but... I don't know. I mean, maybe one of them to help me kill enemy lords. Because these really have kind of low melee attack. If they're hitting infantry, it goes up to like 39 or 40, but this is 33. What's its bonus versus large? 18, so it's like 51. Okay, so it definitely does a lot more damage. Has way more HP. 
can rampage, but I can fix that. Uh, they all cause terror. Doesn't have any um, like archers or anything. Has less armor. But does have the more HP. It's like almost twice as much damage. Okay, let's we'll get one of those for DPS. We'll get two of those and one of those. And I guess that's all we're going to have money for right now. And then next turn we should get a little bit more cash and we can buy a Pterodon Rider. Just to help out a little bit. Now these things can also chase fleeing units, which is nice, so they can't recover. So we can just put them in melee mode and just have them just flock down and just chase stuff off the battlefield. It's kind of like a dog unit because we don't have, you know, any fast moving cavalry here. So, okay. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing to do. Just chilling. Sequence of the skirmisher. We need to get like one skink eventually. That's like 200 for that. How many are we getting per turn? 18. All right. I hate just sitting around chilling, but sometimes you just gotta recruit. Multiple turn recruitment for Horde is kind of obnoxious, but it'd be cool if you could at least move while you're recruiting as Horde. Uh, sure. <laughs> Who cares about the corruption? How many? Six turns? I mean, lore-wise, I wouldn't want to do it. Like, RP, I guess. But if we're just talking strategic utility, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Hopefully he takes this. Now, let me see these guys. So they do have... You know, this, which is obviously useful. I kind of wish I had one more of the solar things now. Maybe I should have bought that instead of the Stegodon. Regrets. But I'm just thinking, that I'm seeing the Vigor loss here, and the Vigor loss reduction is huge. Maybe I can buy one of my next recruitment cycle. 14 bonus versus large. We get bonus versus infantry, though. It's okay. I wish he kind of had more of these Black Art Corsairs. I think, well, these are a lot stronger. Not to say we clap those because those aren't anti-large, but even with the large bonus here, these might still be stronger. Not, not really. I don't know. It's close. I think we beat him, though. I think, we'll, I think our SARS are just going to slaughter him. There's too much armor, too much health too much utility. Lokir doesn't... I don't think he does anything. He just fights, I think, early on. Like he doesn't have any spells or special abilities. This will still be fine. I think like one Stegadon with a 91 charge bonus is like... He's hitting. That would definitely help versus Lords. Not that we need it. I mean, if you just put our main Saurus and some of the little dudes on the Lord, like, you're probably going to beat him. The Croxagores. Now, I don't see a Black Ark anywhere over here. That's supposed to be his thing, is he gets early access to Black Arks. <clears throat> And the Black Arcs are very, very strong. Actually, he does have it. I don't know if he's on a Black Arc or what, but he does. it says he does have the bonuses. Now, he already does have his quest battle stuff, so he's got Sundering Attacks. Helm of the Kraken. Is that a new thing? I don't remember that. Maybe it has new art. I don't remember the Thulu-looking icon there. 
So 10 melee defense and heal per second. Okay. I've got a manticore. I think our flying guys can beat that. Yeah, only 65. We do have 10 of them, though. Fighting one Manticore, 27, 23. We only have 15 armor. It's probably not a good idea. We can kind of firewall moving. So, if everybody just throws their stuff at it, maybe. I mean, we could use the revivification crystals on it, too. Okay, so... None of these affect Bastilodons. What the heck? Okay. Uh. <clears throat> I think this is probably good enough to beat him. We're not maxed out on magic. What's the garrison? It does have five breaches on this wall, too. Let's see if anyone will pay us to go to war with them. Bring fire and terror. Celestial loyalists. That's not Western Province. No, that's the yellow people up top. It just looks white for some reason there. We haven't seen them yet. Okay. I was thinking, can we hand off... We can't hand off things to allies to get political points. That's something that I kind of learned that I never really used. Feels a little exploity. I don't know how they think they're going to win this. I mean, it is a bunch of spears with chevrons against large monsters. So there is that. But we got a lot of magic. I guess they do too. Like they have these little things, but these are not going to work very well against monsters. It, it's okay against Saurus, but Saurus are pretty thick. They got a lot of armor, and most of these things are not that armor piercing. This one is. But the other ones, um, I guess the explosive damage is 100%. I don't know. It is what it is. We either fight them now or we wait on them to power up more. I guess we could hang back and hire a couple more units if we really wanted to. But they're going to get their full garrison back with no breaches and who knows what else. So I, I think we can probably take them. So... We need to try to not... I think we don't want the Manticore to fight our um, Fire Leech Bolas. We can probably bait them down if we throw stuff with our big Stegodon or with our ancient Stegodon or the uh, Solar Dude. We could probably get him to land and then fight him. What we don't want is him to isolate and fight our skink. So we gotta keep track of that. Okay, there's one wall. Broken. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Nice. Alright, well, this is kind of where we're gonna go then. What is this? <laughs> okay. It does have us piled in over here, but it's just like super goofy. Alright. Do we want to flank? 
We, we're probably just gonna use these two holes. Sounded kind of awkward. <laughs> we'll keep it PG. Um, but, uh, anyways. <laughs> the Croxagores and the Steganon's hair. Now, it might be worth to break open this gate or not. I kind of do want... We might send some Saurus through here. It's because they are going to tie us down, probably. But we should be able to push in anyways. Why are these way over there? What? Okay. These two can be our five. Go ahead and use a revive on him, I guess. Alright, let's get in there. Get in there. Where's the sun, dude? Okay, we gotta try to get in over here. The AI around these, like, edges is just so goofy sometimes. Okay, we got in here. Is that okay? Okay, that took a second for them to get over there, but crap, they're focus firing me again. Okay, well, that thing got run out of town. Um,
Give me. Where's my this dude? Okay, so there's like some more people kind of coming in here. Okay, these are about to get clapped. Fire on these things. Actually, yeah, fight those, fight those. What are we doing? Get over here, fight these things. Manticore thing is. Uh, Alright, fire on those. Back it up, back it up. Crap, how is he running? What? Okay. What is happening here? How is he still beating me? This clown, Loki or Felhart, dude. I was talking trash about him. Okay, just let him deal with that. What we got going on over here? Come on, let's go. It's your turn.
is happening here? Okay, just reform. Get in here and just take this circle. And get rid of all these towers. They're just like focus right on my dudes. This dude's still slinging. Like, this is crazy. He does have regeneration, I guess. He did have a lot of regeneration. Okay, we got him. Jeez. Can you not heal himself? get as many of these heals off as we can on our big units. Alright, so they're all gonna die. But... Man, okay, I'm sorry, Lokir. My bad. He's putting in some work. Um... How close is one of these guys? Single entity heals. Remember that even if it's really low like this guy, it's going to go back to 7 no matter what. I guess this does actually resurrect dead units. So there is a little bit more utility in that than um, most other heals in the game. Speed it up a little bit here. He's going to heal a little bit here, but where's the other one? Right here. The, okay, we got it. Try to heal these up one more time here. He's just about at the cap on healing, which is why I'm not healing the main lord. But these guys get in dirty, you know, they like to get in a melee. I mean, almost everything does, but they have to get in close to use their spells. So, I mean, there's a lot of ways that I could have optimized that, of course, but I am finding as I get a bit older, when there's like a billion things to click on, like, it is a little bit harder. <laughs> Um, than it used to be when I was like 16. Micromanage everything in like StarCraft, right? Like this isn't like StarCraft level micromanagement, but. This isn't 350 APM, but. <laughs> These weren't super effective. They were okay. Um, but, I mean, they did have, like, they have some serious crossbows early that will definitely melt you. So having them fire at this guy, fire at these rather than focus fire, you know, one of my large monsters does have some utility to it. Did they get a special port or anything? No, they always.
just get the same <clears throat> same buildings. We never level it up. Which is basically it. <clears throat> now Okay, yeah, so any faction wide buffs, I wonder. I don't have any yet. Well, I should have some to skinks, right? Weapon strength. And missile strength for skinks. But I don't. Oh, that's my faction. This is a different faction. Okay. Let's say usually universal stuff helps um, your garrison. But not if it's a different faction. Yeah, man, he he put up a pretty good fight. Frenzy and everything for crops. Uh, we do Comet a lot more than Chain. Chain was, like, kind of useful against, like, archers, but just a little bit more conditional. Okay, so... I don't have any kind of like underway things. I have to actually sail over here if I want to take that down. How do I... Okay, I can run over this and get over there. Well, I need to replenish. Running this way is not going to do anything. If I go in the water, then I don't get to replenish, so... That's Admiral. Okay, so he can't go on land. He's gonna go around and try to sack it, though, in the water. Probably. That's gonna be annoying. But... Getting 25 a turn. So we should be able to level that up soon. I mean, are these things worth... Like they're both kind of just ranged stuff. I feel like I'd rather just have this, because this can like get in there and fight at least. These probably do a lot more damage. I think I remember using them before, and they're like pretty good. It's like one of the lords, the Lizardman lords, gives them bonuses or something. Okay. Let's go ahead and invest in that, I guess. Get that rolling. Let's see how much the extra 5% matters. So we're at 1392 right now. We are going to be getting some more, a little bit more, from this extra garrison here, but fights to the death. Oh, that's Ditka's. Okay. All right. have to recruit three Croxagores. If we want to hire an ancient Croxagore, that could be a, a nice little thing. But yeah, most of these are pretty pretty trash. Okay. I think I needed to hire any more units. Yeah, I think they ran back to Baychai with that Admiral. I'm assuming. <clears throat> Final Supper. But that's not good. Where are we at? We're at fifty five. And we do need to replenish for a turn. So what we got three hundred gold or something like that. Oh, does this tell you? Oh, I was hovering here, so it hovers here. Oh, that's total income. Okay, so it's not... 
So I'm getting 250 gold from a horde buildings. How how is that possible? Oh, does that include upkeep reduction or not? Maybe it doesn't include upkeep reduction. Okay, that doesn't include upkeep reduction. It's like it has to be more than that. There's no way. Okay. I didn't check the solar, like, the vigor loss reduction or whatever on the on the solar thing. I should have really microed the solar thing. It's probably the thing I did the worst with in that last fight, but... I mean, I think a croc is two turns too, right? Yeah. Might need another turn of replenishment. I don't know. How many, how strong are they? It says they are extremely strong. What, why do they think I'm so bad? Because I'm injured? here and see what they have. No. So I can hit that, right? Is he... He's not in reinforcement range, I'm pretty sure. Now, if I take that... He's probably going to take it back the next turn. But then I get one more replenishment and then I can maybe fight him in the city. That's a lot of these little hand bows, though. These are not as strong, nearly as strong, I don't think, as these are, the dark shards, though. Nice. Now, if I hit that, though, and they attack the town, then I might be obliged to reinforce it. But I would have a bit of a garrison. Do you come in with full garrison? They might. Alright, let's hit it. Oh. I didn't see the reinforcing army. Hmm. A repeater cross. Who the hell builds that unit? That's extremely good against me. Okay, but... But this is a reinforcing army coming in from the left side. So... And this is not a capital town, so it should be a field battle, right? So they're going to come in, like, over here. And I think if we just stand on the border, where they are, where they come in, that we should delete them. Because we should be able to pin these horses in. Now, if these things were just running free, able to free fire, that would be a problem. But I think we'll be able to contain them. And at least wipe all the infantry. And if we wipe all the infantry, these guys should run, I hope. Now, this thing probably does okay against them. But yeah, Skirmish or Cav that have heavy armor piercing is going to be good against my thing. Okay, but we'll, uh, we'll pick up there next time. So I probably should have scouted it out a little bit more. Got a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, but... I think, again, because of them coming in, uh, reinforcing. The other option is, depending on how they line up, if I could just completely kill and route these guys in under two minutes, then these don't get to reinforce. But I think I want them to reinforce, and I want to pin them in. 
and you know just drop a comet of Cassandora on all these guys while they're pinned in and then just beat them down and hopefully not many of these escape hopefully they just kind of wig out and get pinned on the uh, on the edge of the map but anyways that's going to be it thanks very much hope you enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you next time have a great day